All right, this is day number two. Yesterday we talked about priorities, and I hope you got something out of that. Thinking about three things that you're gonna focus on this year. You must have, must do things. Now today is vitally important. I wanna talk about something that has helped me last year, and, and you saw me on my, my track at my 60th birthday last year to get into the best shape of my life. And I was able to maintain that for a whole year. And I'm gonna share with you all of those experiences during the next couple days. But today I wanna to tell you about what really got me started, what got me in the right mindset to believe that I could do it. Uh, it it's called finding your why. Why do you want it? What makes you want it that badly? Now when you think about whatever your goal was, whether it's your health or whether it's your relationship or advancing your career or starting a business, there has to be a why. And that why has to be so deep and so compelling that it, it burns up and gets rid of all the excuses. Because you're going to have some difficult days. You're going to have to answer some questions that you don't have answers for. Why do you want to keep doing this? Why do I want to do this? It's not working out. And you've got to be able to go back to your why. And stay on track. With just the why. Just knowing that you've got to do this. So as I thought about 2017, early in the year, I was thinking about why would I want to get in the best shape of my life. And the first answer that comes up is because I really want to. I just want to look good. Well, why? Well, because it's not been done before. I didn't know if I could do it. Why? Well, I didn't want to be a 60-year-old and out of shape. Why? Because there's no one else that's done it before. Why? Because no one else has had the courage to do it. Why? Because no one's been able to show them the way. Why? And someone has to be the one to blaze that trail. And I thought, why would I look at a 60-year-old and expect the person to be out of shape and not looking good and, and not having a good disposition about life? I want it to be something different. And I want to show the world what it can look like to be at 60 years old and be in great shape. And my motivation, my why was to inspire someone to look at that and say, if he can do it, I can too. And that was my why. To be able to inspire the world, that when someone looks at me at 60, and I'm 61 now, to be able to look at me and say, if he can do it, I can too. So every morning when I got up and I didn't feel like working out, I thought about you. I thought about those people that really needed someone. They needed that role model. They needed a champion. Someone that can do it. That can show them the way. And that was my why. And when I would get up every morning, I didn't feel like doing it. I, I felt tired. I would get new energy, a new strength thinking about my why. In the same way, you're going to have to think about what is it that makes you do and want to do what you want to do. Your why has to be bigger than you. When I started thinking outside of myself and thinking about the world and, and what, what I can do to impact people around me, my why became greater. My motivation became greater. And whatever I thought about getting tired of giving up, I would always go back to my why. And it always fueled me and got me back on track. So I'm telling you, find your why. We're going to talk about the diet. I'm going to give you my exercise program. I'm going to give you all the details, but I guarantee you if I just gave it to you now and you didn't know why you were going to do it, you would fall short of your expectation. I want you to find your why. It may take you a couple of days. It may take you some time to write out why. Don't just say, I want to do it. Think about it. Keep going deeper. Find your deepest why. And when you get to that real true, that real true why you need to do things, or why you want to do it, you'll get excited. It'll empower you, it'll motivate you, and you'll stay on track. 2018, find your why.